Alhamdulillah, we thank Him, Allah, for granting us another opportunity to be here this evening. Ramadan is 17 today, inshallah. We have fasted the first 10 days of Ramadan. We are now in the second part, the second 10 days of Ramadan. So today is Ramadan is 17, inshallah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our out of ibadah and reward all of us with a dignity for the doubt. You are most welcome to our today's tafsir. We must, after thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we must seek for Allah's blessings, mercies upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of mankind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala salli ala ali Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continue to have mercies upon the family of the Prophet Muhammad, the family members of the Prophet Muhammad. May he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to shower his blessings upon the, 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 the companions, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ala tabi'een and those who came after the companions, the generation, after the generation of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad. Wa tabi tabi'een and the generation after the generation of those who follow the companions of the Prophet Muhammad. Atami Tabi'in. Wa alayna ma'ahun admahin. May he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extend the blessings of his upon every single one of us who are here this evening and all the Muslims, the fasting Muslims all over the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting. Bila hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-alim al-azim. We remember to pray for all our scholars, those who are still living. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comfort them. For those who have gone among them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be merciful with them and grant them a dinner to free those. Our parents, those who are still alive among them, may Allah make this life easy for them. Grant all their hard desires, those who have gone among them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them a dinner to free those. Bila hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi la alihi la asheem. The continuation of our tafsir we continue from uh, Surah Al-Nisa, Quran 4, verse 37. Quran 4, verse 37. Where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Bada'udhu billahi minan shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. الذين يبخلون ويأمرون الناس بالبخل ويكتمون ما آتاهم الله من فضله وأعتدنا للكافرين ذابا مهينا هي الله سبحانه وتعالى is telling us about the stinginess. Stinging. Alladina yabakhaluna wa yamuruna nasa bil bukhul. We want to look at the punishment for stinginess according to Islam. 
when someone is changing what Islam, what Quran says about it, what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says about it, what are the punishments, the punishment attached to stinginess in Islam? We need to understand it. The word of stinging in, in Islam where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying Alladheena yabukhaluna Those who are stinging wa yamuruna nasa bil bukhul They are stinging and they also promote the stinginess They are stinging and they are also encouraging other people to be stingy. Ya muruna nasa bil bukhuli. They are stingy and they are advising people to be stingy. Wherever they see someone who wants to spend for the sake of Allah, someone who wants to spend fi sabili Allah, for Allah's sake, they will try to discourage them. They discourage, they have already discouraged themselves from spending from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to them. And they are also trying to discourage the other people who are ready to spend who are ready to spend from what Allah has given to them, out of what Allah has given to them, they will try to discourage them. If they see someone doing this meal in law, with each amount, and they are doing, okay, this meal in law, this meal in law, where they are collecting donations, and they are, they are sitting beside, they will try to discourage such a person who want to donate money. Uh, this, this is which amount you want to donate. Allah says, "Alladina yabukhaluna, yabukhaluna, wa yamuruna nasa bil bukhuli." Those who are stingy, and they also encourage people. They encourage people to be stingy. They, they, they discourage those who are ready to spend for the sake of Allah. They promote the stinginess. And they will be hiding the favors of Allah upon them. They won't like to disclose to people the blessings of Allah upon them. They will try to keep Yaktumuna ma ata umullahu. They will like they will try to keep the blessings of Allah. They won't let people to see it. They will be hiding it. So that people will not know that they have money. When Yaktumuna ma ata hum ma ata humullahu min fadilihi. وَأَتَدِنَا لِلْكَافِرِينَ أَذَابًا مُهِينَ Allah says, وَأَتَدِنَا We have already prepared for those who are stingy. أَأَتَدِنَا لِلْكَافِرِينَ Allah says, we have prepared for disbelievers. You can see, Allah like the stinginess with disbelieving. Because stinginess is tantamount to what? To disbelieving. That is why Allah says, Atedina lilika afirina. Because you've been looking at what is the, the word of Kal Kafirin. Disbeliever. What is he doing here? Allah has reason for everything. Allah is telling us that when you see a stingy person, the person is near to disbeliever. That's why Allah says, 
للكافرين عذابا مهينا we have prepared for this believer for stingy persons عذابا مهينا emanating punishment that is Quran now we need to understand the word of stinginess according to Quran and Tafsir wa kuni awrada al-Quran al-Karim li dhamm al-bukhul sab'i ayat sab'i ayat seven different verses of the Quran revealed on stinginess in the old Quran you will find seven verses seven different verses in the Quran and Karim where Allah discussed about stinginess was it two suwar and we have a six suwar and all these seven verses will be found in six chapters of the Quran six different chapters of the Quran seven verses but all these seven verses will be found in six chapters of the Quran what the other in these six chapters of the Quran Najib Khams Khamsa Asur Madaniya out of these seven out of these six chapters of the Quran where you find seven verses five are Madaniya five chapters revealed to the prophet Muhammad in Medina Medina's chapters out of six chapters only one chapter revealed to the prophet Muhammad in Mecca All what we are trying to say here is that Allah discussed about the stinginess in the Quran in six different verses. Then, sorry, seven different verses in six different chapters of the Quran. But five are Madaniya, Madina's chapters. Why Mecca is is only one, just only one. that revealed to the prophet Muhammad why the prophet was in Mecca. Then we want to go through all the chapters of the Quran and Karim, the verses which discuss about the stinginess and then we need to understand the meaning of stinginess according to Quran and Karim. When we take a look at this very well, where Allah discuss about stinginess in Quran and Karim. We said six and seven chapter verses in six chapters. These are those uh, verses where Allah discusses about the stinginess in the Quran and Karim. We find it in Surah Al Imran. Al Imran. That is Quran three. verse 180 Quran 3 verse 180 when you go through it you see that Allah discusses about stinginess there in the in the verse then we also find it in surah to nisa the one we are reading now surah to nisa that is Quran Quran 4 verse 37 Allah also discuss about stinginess in this particular verse where we are reading. We also find this the the verse that discuss about stinginess also in surah to tauba. In surah to tauba. Surah to tauba Quran 9 verse 76. you find it there where Allah discussed 
about stinginess. We also find it in Surah to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Surah to Muhammad. In this Surah to Muhammad, that is Quran uh, 47. Quran 47, verse 37. You see where Allah discuss about stinginess. In another surah where we find it, we find the, uh, the stinginess in Surah Al-Hadid. Surah Al-Hadid. Surah Al-Hadid is, Hadid is Quran 57. Surah Al-Hadid. Quran 57, verse uh, 24. We find it there where Allah discuss about stinginess. Then the last surah, which is Makiyah, uh, the one that revealed to the Prophet Muhammad in Mecca. These are the five chapters where you can find the stinginess in the Quran al Karim. In those chapters that revealed to the Prophet Muhammad in, Mad in Medina. The last one is the one you can find in Surah to A, Surah to Layl. Surah to Layl. Surah to Layl. We also find this uh, stinginess in Surah to Layl. Surah to Layl is Quran 92. Quran 92, verse 78. We find it there. Uh, sorry, Quran 92, verse 8 where Allah discuss about stinginess. These are those chapters where we can find how Allah discuss about the stinginess. For us to know that the word of stinginess in the Quran al Karim, Allah used six different words about the stinginess. Six different words where Allah used Bakhila. Yebukhalu. Allah used the word of Bakhila in the Quran al Karim about the stinginess. Tabukhalu. He used Tabukhalu. He used Yebukhalu. He used Yebukhalu. He also used Al Bukhul. The stinginess is something that we really need to understand the punishment so that we can stay away from stinginess. When you have money, instead of you to spend out of what Allah has given to you, you are not hiding it. If you don't spend what Allah has given to you, out of what he has given to you, if you don't spend the one with you, you can't receive another, from, another one from outside. Stinginess is one of what destroys people's life. But we don't take note of it. When we go through all these verses in the Quran and Karim, you agree with me that the way Allah discussed the stinginess in the Quran and Karim is something that destroys. It's, it's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislike. Allah says in the Quran and Karim, according to that surah Ali Muran, we find it there where Allah discuss about stinginess in Ali Imran. For us to know that Allah doesn't want us to be stingy. It's not, you know, al bakhilu la yadkhulu al-jannata al bakhil or al-bakhil la yadkhul al-jannah. A stingy person 
will not be admitted into paradise. Stinginess can prevent someone to be, from being admitted to paradise. Stinginess makes someone to become an enemy, enemy to Allah. Any stingy person is an enemy to Allah. Adullah, al bakhilu Adullah. A stingy person is an enemy to Allah. Stinginess, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses so much in the Quran and Kareem. We can find it in Ali Imran, where Allah discusses about stinginess in Quran 3 verse. 180. Allah says, Allah says in Ali Muran, who are خير لهم those who are stingy should not think that they are wiser than Allah الذين يبخلون بما أتاهم الله من فضلهم من فضله who are خير لهم they should not think that they are wiser than Allah they should not think that that stinginess is better for them. It's good for them. That stinginess can, uh, can make their money to be increasing. They should not think that if they keep spending out of what Allah has given to them, will be making their money, their properties reduce. You can see. Yaddul awliya khayru min yaddul sufla the upper hand, the upper hand that is always giving out is more better before Allah than lower hand that is always collecting, receiving. Means that al yaddul awliya khayra min yaddi sufla. The person who is giving out will be receiving more blessings of Allah. That's why خَيْرُ مِنْ يَدِّ sufla. Allah says وَلَا يَسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ يَبُخَلُونَ بِمَا آتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَخَيْرًا لَهُمْ Those who are stingy should not think that that is the best way for them. That's the best way of keeping their money. That's the best way of getting, uh, make, making their money increasing. They should not think that that's the best way of, of saving their money. No, most of them believe that if you are still, if you are not spending for people, it means that you are keeping your money. You are saving your money. Allah says, they should not think that that's the best for them. But that's the bad for them. Sharrul Allah says, that's the, that's the bad. It's so bad for them to be stingy. They should remember that it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave it to them. وَلَا يَسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ يَبْخَلُونَ لِمَا أَتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَخَيْرًا لَهُمْ بَلْ هُوَ شَرٌ لَهُمْ سَيُتَوَّقُونَ مَا بَخِلُوا بِهِ يَوْمَ الْكِيَامَةِ وَلِلَّهِ مِيرَاسُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ 
والله بما تعملون خبير. You should remember the punishment attached to it. Sayyidu wa kuna ma bakhiru bi iyaw malkiyama. Allah says on the day of judgment, they should remember the punishment. Allah will use Sayyidu wa kuna ma bakhiru bi hi. That money, that practice that you are keeping, that your stinginess, Allah will use it. You talk about God. He will use this as a rope to tie your what? Your neck on the day of Kiyama. Ma bakhilu bihi yawm al-Kiyama. Allah says that money you are keeping, you have been keeping, that you're supposed to spend for people around you, that you're supposed to spend it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The singleness, we have so many other places where Allah discuss about it. We also have it in Surah to Tauba. Surah to Tauba, that is Quran, Quran 9. Quran 9, verse 76. In this uh, Surah to Tauba, Allah also discussed about the stinginess for us to know that we need to stay away from stinginess. There's nothing to benefit from it than the punishment of Allah. Allah says in Surah to Tauba, where Allah says, Falamma atahu min fadlihi bakhilu bihi wa tawallahu wa hum aridun. Falamma atahu min fadlihi when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, when we need some, something, we'll be asking Allah, Oh Allah, I want you to grant me this. I want you to give this one to me. I want you to give that to me. I'm looking for this post. But when we get it, when we are blessed with what we are requesting for, from Allah, Allah says in the Quran and Karim, Falamma atahu min fadlihi. When they are given what they are requesting for, when they are given out of the bounties of Allah, bakhilu bihi. Allahu Akbar kabira. Bakhilu bihi. Allah says, they will be trying to play, to play what? Smartness. As if they are smart. Bakhilu bihi. They will now, instead of them to spend, for them to remember that it was given to them by Allah, and it can be taken at any point in time, anyhow, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah says, Bakhilu bihi. Rather, they will be stingy. They will be playing smartness that they are smart. That was what happened to uh, Karun. That was what happened to him. We all read about his history when he was with Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam as one of the followers of the Prophet Musa. He requested from Prophet Musa to ask Allah to grant him wealth. So he requested from the Prophet Moses to pray for him. Prophet Moses alayhi salatu was salam prayed for him and Allah answered his prayer. Gave him the wealth. More than enough. Allah gave it to him. At the end of the day, when it was time for him to give us card, charity, out of what Allah gave to him, 
And when the Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam met him and asked him, Oh, Karun, supposed to be giving us zakat out of this wealth. Remember that you requested for it. You asked Allah to give you and he gave it to you. So now, you are expected to give us zakat out of it. This is a very simple example of this verse. Falama tahum min fadili. When Allah give them, you know, when Allah gives his servant out of his bounties, favors, blessings, wealth, bakhilu bihi. They will not be trying to you know, to be dodgy. They are trying not to pay zakat. Allah said, Bakhilu bihi. What are Allah wa hum wa'idun? They will turn back to Allah. They will turn back to Allah. Somebody who was, somebody that when he was in need of wealth, he turned to, he turned face to what? To Allah. He faced Allah, asking Allah, requesting from Allah, oh Allah, give me this, oh Allah, give me that. But when he, when he gets it, that is him and me. So when you get what you need, Allah said, Tawal you will now turn back. He faced Allah like this before when he, he was in need. But when he, got, when he got what he needed, he now turned back to Allah. Allah. And that was what exactly happened to Karun. When he got all what he needed, all what he requested from Allah through Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. Bakhilu bihi. Bakhila wa tawalla. He turned back to Allah. Musa was asking him, pay your zakat. I said, people, he said, no. So what, what, what was happened to him? At the end of the day, everything was destroyed by Allah. Karun, everything. Tawallahu wa umma'nidun. Just because it turned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The stinginess, according to Islam, inshallah, when next we meet, 